How's everybody doing this fine mo morning? I'm having a fantastic day. Yep. I am in uh, Clearwater, Minnesota right now. Just finished having breakfast done. And then we'll get out of here. Just finished doing all that stuff. So I finished logging my logbook here and then we'll be on our married way. It started uh, not really snowing, but light flurries. Not light flurries. Yeah, if it's not going to be worse than this, then we'll be we'll be all right. Yep, yeah, we'll make our home later on today. I'll probably be home probably yeah, I say 5:30. I think that's when I should be home. But anyways, let's get this show rolling. Alrighty, here we go. We are leaving the pad drop here in clear water now. Looks like the uh, tool truck is just bringing a uh, truck down here. Looks like somebody must have some problems with their truck. And yes, they do have a shop right here. I know they're always busy in here, but eh, that's okay. Yeah, looks like that's where he's going to be towing it to. I don't know if he's had problems starting it or what, but obviously isn't working, right? Most of us, we have all been there at one point or another. And our truck broke down and you got stranded somewhere, you know. I've been there. I was there in January. I had that happen to me. My ACM went bad on me. All of a sudden in the morning, I start up my truck and... Uh, It worked fine and I uh, started driving. I got feet. down Turn like left uh, on. not even half a mile on the road. I didn't even get and over the overpass and my uh, engine was shutting down. So, and I, I was pretty cold at that time in Turn left on. The Grey Draper Road. So CR I uh, and then turn left to 950 feet. Put some 911 in the diesel tanks. I figured, oh, it's probably just frozen diesel or whatever because I had the truck shut off overnight, but I did have the AP and it running and everything, you know. And well, I got a couple of miles down the road again, it shut off again. So then I got out and I changed uh, the diesel filters and started it up again and ran fine and then uh, I got going and got another few miles and then it was shut, uh, shutting off again so uh, then I knew there was definitely something wrong so In 700 I feet, tried on, to get to the next truck stop and I managed to get to the next truck, truck stop but uh, that was as far as I was going and Turn left on and then to find me a shop to get it into and all that, you know. Took me a while to find the shop and they didn't have time that day. They had only time the next day, so I had to even wait till the next day and then finally uh, I had to get me towed over there because I couldn't go nowhere. And took it in there and checked it out and my ACM was shot. I had to put a new ACM in. Uh, 2300 hours later we drove away but anyways just we figured to share a story with you guys to the right on i-94 west here we go we have 400 miles to go yet till we get home we have just gotten across the border here a little bit ago we are in manitoba that's what i'm referring to as cross the border Gone all the way to uh, Minnesota already, all the way through North Dakota. Now we are in home country. We certainly are. I love it. I'll be home in another hour. I'll be in uh, at least in the yard. Draw up in the trailer. Then we'll uh, finish doing the paperwork and go home. Have a good short time at home 
and then uh, we'll try and do another short trip and then uh, Christmas will be here yeah I'm super excited for that can't wait till next week at least I'll finally have some time off and spend some quality time with the family and friends and everybody you know that'll be fun and that will be short last I guess or short lived before you know it's going to be over and then we're going to have to be back to work again oh well that's how life goes nothing lasts forever At least we don't have a lot of snow right now. Last uh, week or whatever, it was really warm when I was at home still. So I guess uh, almost all the snow melted.